the evidence from Australia is that it does actually influence smokers' cravings. And the fact of the matter is, Angela talks about this, but the measures that the government has been able to put in place, both this government and previous governments, over the last decade and more, have actually led to a decline in smoking amongst adults of more than a quarter and amongst children of more than a half. But we still need to do more because with 500 children and more taking up smoking every day, this is still a public health disaster. Smoking still kills more people than the next six um, causes of premature death put together, including alcohol, obesity, um, illegal drugs, uh, road traffic accidents, you name it. Um, and just surely you support measures to stop young people smoking. I, mean, I know that you're a smoker and you're proud of that, but you can't approve of young people smoking, can We you? don't want young people to smoke, but we so think there are better because plans? there are better policies. Children do not smoke because of the colour or the shape of the boxes. That really How is nonsense, Deborah. Well, we know that because we have actually see that the studies that have come from the NHS themselves say the reason that people take up smoking and children take up smoking are to do with wishing to be rebellious, about peer pressure, about presence of smoking at home, and it's connected to their educational um, aspirations and other factors which are actually much more about their social deprivation and their aspirations in life, not about the colour of the boxes. They buy on price, not yep. on the not on the colour of the box. But actually, Angela, your campaign is funded by the tobacco industry. The tobacco industry are fighting tooth and nail to stop this measure. If the tobacco industry really hates it so point, much, I mean, isn't that okay. a, isn't that a proof of how important we'll, it is? And we'll pick